That's right, Chef. This is the area where investigators made the discovery over the weekend. It is not easy to get to, and it's pretty far from the nearest roadway. But they spent a full day here after those human remains were discovered, now known to be that of Gabby Petito, processing the scene for evidence. Everywhere you look in this small area of the Spread Creek dispersed camp area, you can see orange spray paint markers believed to be where something of significance was documented by investigators. The markings were placed on trees and rocks and in some cases are numbered. In the same vicinity, many people have now noticed a rock cross in the sand along the banks of a stream that's nearby. It's unclear who put it there or when it was created. Earlier today, a preliminary autopsy took place at the Teton County Coroner's Office. Several vehicles were seen leaving that facility, including a large law enforcement utility truck. Outside, a member of the coroner's office could be seen talking to someone, and hours later it was announced that the remains are that of Gabby Petito. Following that announcement, the FBI issued a new flyer in this case, now declaring Gabby the victim of a homicide. It also asks that anyone who was in the Spread Creek camping area between August 27th and August 30th to give them a call. Now, Gabby's family has not spoken publicly since those remains were first discovered, and we learned through their attorney today that they do plan to speak publicly once they say Gabby's remains have been brought back home. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.